Hi, we're here backstage at the American Idol Tour uh, rehearsals. I'm here with Casey James. Say hello. Hi. Oh, sorry. Hi. And uh, I'm going to ask him some questions. So first off, I wanted to start by saying congrats, making Thanks. the top three. You did amazing on the show. And uh, really what I want to know is how, how old were you when you first started to play guitar? I think I was 13. 13. That's a, that's a good age. That's a good age. Well, you can definitely tear it up on that, uh, on that axe. Um, other questions? Um, why so blue? You know what? Um, it's all I have clean. Sorry, it's all I have clean. <laughs> that's a good answer. Yeah. All right. Now the tables will turn. Hi everybody, this is Casey James here, reporting in from Center Staging here in uh, Burbank, California. It's a beautiful day. Oh, it's okay. By the time they hear this, we'll be gone. That's true. So, um, That's true. it's a wonderful day, and I'm here with Crystal Bowersox, who did really well on the show, and uh, we're going to talk with her just a bit about uh, some of her likes and dislikes, and uh, really what's just going on in that head of hers. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> as you dance. <laughs> this is the AI uh, <laughs> Um, no, honestly, what was what was the what was the worst part of the show for you? Um, the worst part of the show, maybe maybe making songs a minute thirty. That was mine as well. Yeah, I I know you feel that a minute yeah. thirty. It's hard to take a full song and really shorten it up like that. Yeah. You lose a lot of the story and the, the feeling in it. And what did you feel about some of the, the judges' comments? Because I always liked your responses? Um, you know, I just, uh, the judges were always, they were, they were really kind to me, but, you know, you just have to speak your mind. You did that well, too. Thank you. You did. Thank you. I was always like, get on to, you're, you're dancing, <laughs> you're dancing, so you're great <laughs> on the show. I thought that you could really bust a move. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to make us feel bad. You know, like, <laughs> I, I, you know, we did some. I tried to, I tried to hold back a little, too, you know, just out of respect for. For everybody that, you know, dance. can dance, so. Okay, I, so I just have a few more questions for you, Casey. Um, and this question is, uh, what's a question you'd love to never be asked again? Uh, anything involving the, the cougar, the the cougar, cougar thing. situation, because I think that's been played out yeah. massively. Yeah, and, a little bit. Um, Would you mind taking off your shirt? <laughs> another one, <laughs> another one, another one, yeah. Oh, here's, a, here's one more. What's the dumbest question you've been asked in an interview? Dude, Probably ooh. that one. Ooh, I, I would hate to put somebody in the spot, but anything like, uh, no, I'm not going to do that, because then somebody's going to see this and be like, I asked that question. Hey, buddy! Oh, my gosh! It's Rita Wise! <laughs> oh, please cut that laugh forever and never, <laughs> ever let it surface. All right, anyway. let me get, let's see. Uh, oh, well, this, is, this is cool. Okay. How do you get pumped up for a show? How do you get pumped up uh, for a show? Well, really, I, I pump some iron. Yeah. Um, do a couple curls and push-ups. Pumped uh, up, literally? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get pumped. Do you actually have warm-up songs? Do you do that? No. <laughs> Number two and three, folks. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't know about this. Did, does anyone you know in the top ten have any uh, pre-show rituals or do superstitions? Do you mean meows? Oh, yeah. We all does. know about meowing. Um, how can you not? Uh, love, love Dee Dee, but uh, yeah, she meows. Um, what's your, do you have any pre-show ritual? No. Nah. I don't play. Yeah. yeah. If you never made it through Hollywood, we both know if we, neither one of us had made it through Hollywood, we would be back in home playing guitar and singing. We, so. yeah. Well, I met you the first day. Yeah. So I We probably, actually jammed. Yeah, we did. At the How about Starbucks, that? was it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so that I probably cool. would have called you and been like, let's go play bar game. Exactly. No, we actually exchanged numbers. We were like, hey, we need to get together and jam. And then you never called me. Because <laughs> you made it. <laughs> and so did I. There you go. We're like, who? Huh? What? All right, once the tour is over, what do you see yourself doing in the fall? Uh, I'm going to take a vacation. Yeah? I'm going to the other side of the world, and no one is going to know where. Nice. And it's going to be nice. I'm going to like hang out with my family yeah. for as long as I possibly can before I have to get back to work. That's a good answer. Of course, my kids come with me. Oh yeah, but your family's mobile with you. That's so true. You yes. can just be like, hey. <laughs> uh, let's see. Have you gotten to sleep in your own bed? No, we have. Why not. does everything go to the gutter? How did? It <laughs> <laughs>
Casey never sleeps in his own bed. Is there, <laughs> no. is there a song that you wish you could do on the tour? I think we're all doing them. Yeah. Why did I say that like I'm from like New York? Uh, we're all doing them. We're all doing it. There's uh, there's this one song, I forget the artist, but um, you guys have access to bleeping, right? <laughs> no. No bleeps. Uh, okay, I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's on your tour rider? I didn't know what a rider was until recently, and uh, I have water on mine, and I, have, I recently added beef jerky. I have a rider? We have riders. Nobody told me. No, yeah, you have a big rider. <laughs> Your rider's bigger than my rider, because I'm not <laughs> as important as you are. Continue, moving on. Beyond this tour, what's your dream venue? Ooh, what's your dream venue to perform in? This is a nice one. Hmm. Hollywood Bowl sounds nice. Yeah. Um, you got to bust it down to one. I don't know. What's yours? Mine is Red Rock. I was really excited because when I was in Colorado, um, when I auditioned, I spent like a day or two after and uh, went out there to Red Rock with, it was actually um, Widespread Panic. No, no, it was, yeah, it was Widespread Panic. Yeah, and, awesome. And, uh, it, yeah, it was great. And, and anyways, I got to go down and be like on the stage. And I was just like, you know how cool and amazing it would be if I ever got to play here. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, all this happened, and I made it, and it's like, I could probably play a show there now. You know, it's not like a huge, it's not a crazy huge crowd, so I could probably do a show there, and that would just be, that, that was a dream of mine, like, then, and now it's, you know, possible. So That's really cool. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, I, I, I guess Hollywood Bowl is mine. You'll, you'll fill that one. Let's see. When it's time to leave the hotel, who will be the last to make it to the lobby? Lee. <laughs> Lee. Lee. Yeah. And, uh... And you. Andrew. Andrew. But and I, I really think it'll probably come you, Andrew, Lee. <laughs> I'm always on or time. Or Andrew, you... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what's, so. what's something you got or bought during Idol that will always remind you of your time in L.A.? Um... A fan... My, Made like, me a hat. Like tattoos. A fan. Yeah, you, I made yeah, you yeah. a hat and he never wears it. Well, it's, it sucks. It's, it's okay. really beautiful and nice. <laughs> it's really nice. I sent I sent it home on accident. To be honest with you, that's what happened. Accident. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really do love it. It's actually it's really nice, but it's so freaking hot. Yeah. It's really thick. You don't need a hat like that. Yeah. But uh, a fan made me a hat that's not that hot, and I wear it all the time. Is it the one with the guitar? Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Yes. Cool. I need to get her to see this, because she's like, her husband doesn't believe it, that I wear it. That's really cool. <laughs> what are the five must-have items you're going to pack for the tour? Five this time. Interesting. Five of them. This is like, yours are my Fender, my Gibson. No, I mean, let's not count guitars. We all know we're musicians. Those we're going to have guitars. If that's the case, because I'm going to have like 50 guitars, so... Mm. I want a, a, a spare of the inner ears. It's the best sound ever. If you hook it up to your, your iPod, seriously, dude. Sounds oh, I didn't amazing. think about that. Yeah. You're a genius. It sounds amazing. Ask them for a spare. They have a spare? Um, if you ask. Put it in your rider. You're a genius. Okay, so thank you, Chris and Bauer Sauce, for that. So that's one. Um, yeah, I'll put that on mine. My, uh, my computer, some, you know, music, and uh, yeah. my insulin, of course, that's good. Um, flip flops, comfy shoes, comfy clothes. Books. Yep. Star Wars. A computer, just because I can look up things. Books. Yeah, books and whatnot. My phone, so I can talk to my family, and I guess that's it. So I only need three. Oh, oh, earplugs. That's true. Earplugs, yeah. big time for sleeping. I don't have to listen to this guy. <laughs> Wi-Fi can be spotty on a tour bus. Who of this top ten can't live without the internet? I don't know. Andrew's kind of like... He's kind of addicted, yeah. Yeah. Um, so is Tim. Um, Dee Dee seems to be on it a lot. Uh, yeah, a lot. Yeah. I guess that's about it. That's it. Let me see. Let me see. Let's... Hmm. What will you miss most about Los Angeles? Um, Let me think about that one. <laughs> I will miss the sunshine. Constant sunshine. Uh, what will I miss most? 
my friends that I've made here, honestly. Yeah. Right. yeah. Thanks for uh, chilling backstage with us here at Center yeah. Staging. We've had a good time hanging with you guys. Hope you did too. And uh, sayonara. Yeah, see you on the tour.